everyone welcome back to my channel so if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and uh, press the button na notification bell para kayo ay ma notify if ever na mayroon na akong mga bagong uploads okay so this time ang um, topic natin is related pa rin sa algebra uh, equations okay so from my previous uh, video palagi kong binabanggit sa inyo yung uh, coefficient, pagsamahin natin yung terms, pero hindi ko na-explain sa inyo, ano ba yung mga terms, ano ba yung mga uh, expressions, okay? So, this time, i-recap muna natin, bibigyan ko muna kayo ng idea, or ipapakilala ko muna sa inyo, okay? So, ang 3x plus 4 is equal to 8, ito po ay ang tinatawag natin na algebraic equations, Okay? So, algebraic equations. Okay? And then, yung 4 and 28, ito po yung tinatawag natin na constant. Constant. Okay? Yung plus, minus, multiply divisions are called as operations. Yung x, not your x, ay tinatawag na variable. Yung 3, yan po ang tinatawag natin na coefficient. Okay? Yung 3x, ay tinatawag natin na terms. Okay? And 3x plus 4 ay tinatawag natin na expression. Okay. So, sa mga topic natin, kapag may sinasabi ako na variables, so, alam nyo na ano ang variables ng equations na yan. And then, pag sinasabi ko, pag samasamahin ang mga terms, alam nyo na rin ano ang ibig sabihin ng terms. Okay? Sa algebraic equations, mayroon tayong tinatawag na iba't ibang types ng equations. Una, yung linear equations, yung quadri quadratic equations, yung cubic equations. Yung linear equations, ito po yung binibigay ko sa inyo on my previous video. Okay? And then, yung quadratic equations, ito po yung magiging topic natin today. But to recap, dun sa linear equations, para ma-refresh po kayo, so ito po yung examples natin. 3x plus 4 is equal to 28. Hahanapin natin yung value ng x. Okay? So, how? So, kailangan... Ang gagawin natin ay 3x is equal to 28. Once nilipat mo yung value from other side to the to next side, ay magiging or mabago yung sign niya. So, kung siya ay positive, magiging negative. Minus 4. And then, x is equal to 28 minus 4 is equal to 24. 3x and then, x is equal to 24. Since ito ay multiplied, magiging divide. So, x is equal to 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. Therefore, yung value ng x is 8. So, to check, so, 3x plus 4 is equal to 28. 3, yung value natin ng x ay 8 plus 4 is equal to 28. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Plus 4 is equal to 28. Therefore, yung answer natin na 8 is correct and we were able to arrive on the correct answer for this equation na 3x plus 4 is equal to 28. Okay, for sa topic natin today na quadratic equations, ang standard format ng uh, quadratic equations is example, ax squared. 
plus ax plus b is equal to 0. Okay? It, wherein yung a and b are constant and x is the variables. Okay? And then, uh, how to solve a quadratic equations? First, I kailangan mong pagsamahin yung value if ever examples mayroon tayong ax squared plus bx is equal to 16 we need to transfer yung 16 sa kabilang side and the and the other side the right side will still remain and then gagawin natin siyang zero yun po yung first step and then yung second step step is we need to factor or if mag perform tayo ng factoring okay and then it to check natin kung tama yung answers natin okay so for an example 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 0 as i said 0 na yung left side or right side so ang gagawin natin is factoring so, 3x Bakit siya x dito and x dito? Kasi pag x times x is equal to 3 x squared. Okay? So, anong value ang ilalagay natin dito? Since mayroon tayong 3 dito, 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. And then sa 25 na yon, since negative sign po ito or minus, so, kailangan ang sign po natin na ilalagay dito ay different then Okay? So, 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. So, plus 25 minus 25. Okay? And next, i-factoring pa rin natin. So, ang 25, ang factor niya ay 5 times 5. So, x plus 5 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. And then, we need to check ano ang value ng x. So, x is equal to 0 since 5 ay positive, pag transfer natin to the next side, magiging negative na siya. So, x is equal to negative 5. Ito yung fir first x natin. For the second x, so x is equal to 0 since ito ay negative, magiging positive. So, plus 5. And then, x is equal to positive 5. Therefore, yung second x natin ay positive 5. How to check? We will check if the 2x ay correct. So, 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 0. 3, yung una natin ay negative 5, squared minus 75 is equal to 0. 3, negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to positive 25. Bakit siya positive? Kasi sa rule natin ng multiplications with same sign ay magiging positive. Either negative times negative is equal to positive. Positive times positive is equal to positive. But if different sign po ang multiply mo, magiging negative. Okay? So, 25 squared. Uh, 25 minus 75 is equal to 0. 3 times 25 is equal to 75 minus 75 is equal to 0. Therefore, yung first x natin na negative 5 ay nasatisfy natin yung value ng x. And then for the second x, we have 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 0. 3 positive 5 minus 75 is equal to 0. 3, sorry, 3 times 5 times 5 is equal to 3. 25 minus 75 is equal to 0. 3 times 25, 
is equal to 75 minus 75 is equal to 0. Therefore, both po nung x natin na sagot kanina na negative 5 and positive 5 satisfy the answer of the value of x. So, yun po ang nagiging uh, sagot natin sa ating solutions. Okay? So, next example natin is x squared minus xx is equal to 16. As I've said, kapag may value dito, kailangan natin i-transfer siya. And then, yung right side ay gagawin natin 0. So, manatili siyang 0 dito. So, kailangan ang first step natin ay i-rewrite po natin. So, x squared minus 6x, since ito ay positive 16, magiging minus 16 is equal to 0. And then, after nun, ay kailangan natin mag-perform ng factoring. Okay? So, factoring tayo, x, x. Ang multiplic or multiplications nitong 16 ay 8. So, since ito ay negative, so, mamili po tayo, either positive or negative po ang gagawin natin. So, positive 8 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x times x is equal to x squared. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Therefore, x plus 8 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? And then, kukunin natin, hanapin natin yung dalawang x kung ano yung value ng x na yun. So, x is equal to 0 since ito po ay positive 8. Ililipat po natin siya sa kabila. So, magiging minus 8. x is equal to negative 8. Okay? And then, yung x po natin na isa ay x is equal to 0 since minus 2 magiging positive 2, x is equal to 2. Therefore, yung x po natin sa equations na to ay negative 8 and positive 2. Okay? Okay, another example is uh, x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. So, ang unang gagawin natin is i-factoring, mag-perform tayo ng factoring. So, x, x, since ito ay negative, so negative plus sign, and then yung 49, ang, ang factor ng 49 ay 7 times 7. So therefore, x minus 7 is equal to 0, and x plus 7 is equal to 0. And then, this time, ang ibibigay ko sa inyo naman, kanina, ang binigay ko sa inyo ay substitute substitution method. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is elimination method. So, para mas uh, meron kayong other ideas on how to solve. So, ang gagawin natin, magiging, since ito ay plus, plus so mag-add tayo ng plus 7 is equal to plus 7. And then, eliminate. Ang natitira natin ay x is equal to 7. Okay? And then, sa kabila namang x, ay mag-add tayo ng negative 7. Negative 7. Eliminate. Natitara natin ay x is equal to negative 7. Okay? So, to solve, to check. So, x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. Ang una nating x ay 7 squared minus 49 is equal to 0. 7 times 7 is equal to 49 minus 49 is equal to 0. Okay? And then yung other x, x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. Yung isa nating x ay negative 7. So, negative 7 squared minus 49 is equal to 0. Negative 7 times negative 7 is equal to positive 49. So, positive 49 minus 49 is equal to 0. Therefore, yung x natin na 7 at x na negative 7 satisfies dun sa value ng x. Okay? 
So, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa araw na to. And, uh, I'm, and I hope na uh, you will follow my YouTube channel. And then, mayroon pa akong ibigay sa inyo na other ways or mga related sa math. Either, depende sa inyo kung kayo ay may mga request, I can share uh, ng mga techniques on how to solve simple equations para mas mapadali at mas mapa madali nyo intindihin. And if ever mayroon kayo mga problem solving na nalito kayo, I can uh, provide and answer. I can give you any examples para ma-arrive kayo doon sa correct answers. But just provide comments sa YouTube na, na ito. Okay? So, see you next time. I hope you enjoy solving. Bye!